This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, can I enlarge the sculpting area in the interface? So the question is asking about this area in the UI where you're sculpting on your model. And this area inside of ZBrush is called the canvas. So now when you initially install ZBrush and run it for the first time, you may find that the canvas is not filling to the extents of your UI and you're gonna be left with this border that's surrounding this canvas area. So the settings for the canvas live in the document area. So if I navigate up here to document and open this up, in here you have a range of things you can do with the canvas. You can change the background color, you can adjust the gradient value, and you can also change the width and height. So right now, my canvas here is set to 1250 by 800. So if I wanna increase this or decrease the size here, I can deactivate Pro, and let's say I want to change my canvas to 1024 by 768. So I'm going to go to width and type 1024. And I'm going to go to height and type 768. And then I'm going to click resize. And after you click yes to this dialog here, you're going to notice that your canvas has been resized to those dimensions. Now, this is nice if you need to generate certain texture sizes inside of ZBrush. However, it's still not filling to the extents of the UI. So you could navigate to the document palette here and increase your width and height to something that's larger, say something like 22,000 by 10,000, and then click resize. And this is now going to resize your canvas to fill that space. Now some of your canvas here is now occluded by the UI. And if you come over here and zoom out, you're gonna notice that part of your canvas is being occluded by the UI. So you're not seeing your full canvas dimension. So you can use these little buttons over here to zoom or scale your canvas out. You can even apply a AA half setting here, which will scale your canvas out by one half. Now, most of the time, you're going to want to work with your canvas being one-to-one. -one. So if I come back over here and click actual, this is now returning that canvas back to one and one. However, part of this canvas is being excluded by the UI. So let's say I just want my canvas to be the same size as my interface here and not have any part of this canvas being hidden by the UI. So if we go back over the document palette here and open this up, in here, next to this new document button, is a W size switch. Now if you activate W size and then come over here and click this new document, it's going to generate a new document based on your window size. So it's going to auto fit the document to your interface. So if I come over here and click new document, it's gonna give me a little dialog like so. I'm going to hit no to this. And now after this is done, I now have a canvas that is exactly fitting to my UI. So if I come over here and zoom out again, you're gonna see that it exactly fits. So it's not leaving any of those canvas areas that may be behind the UI. So if I go back to actual here, this is the full extent of my canvas. And I go to document here and you'll see that the UI dimensions here for this are 1507 and 936. So after you have your canvas set up to your liking, you can now store this. So every time you launch ZBrush, this will now be the default setting. So if I go to document again, and right above new document, there is save as startup doc. And when you click this button, it's going to remember the settings you have here for your document. Just click that. And now this will now be loaded every time you start ZBrush. So if I quickly just restart ZBrush here, You'll see when ZBrush restarts, I'm now brought back to the canvas at the correct size that I saved it. So that process again is just to go to the document tab here and you can set a custom canvas size using these sliders here. You can change your range or your background, but if you want it to fully fit your UI, just come over here and enable this W size and then click new document. And that's gonna give you a canvas size that fully fits your interface. After you've made those changes, just make sure you do save as startup document. And then now when you restart ZBrush, it'll remember those settings. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.